More than a job or a career, a calling is something that people believe they were meant to do, that provides them with a sense of purpose and direction. As Emerson Lehman discovered, one Wisconsin man seems to have hit the jackpot with his calling. On the second floor at Potawatomi Casino and Hotel, they're here three hours in advance sometimes. Hundreds are ready to test their luck. All right, 30. The game? Bingo's the entertainment, the social game of gaming. Frank Fisher would know. He's been with the casino for nearly three decades. Never hear about the people that win. I always hear about the people that were one number away. So you always hear those stories, you know, only ifs. So that's the thrill factor of bingo, actually. Is. A thrill factor put on pause by the pandemic. One Fisher is working hard to bring back to life with the help of dedicated employees like Scott Kashina. I'm a professional bingo caller. I'm 19. Call and I'm 19. It's all about timing, timing, uh, calling the game. You have to orient yourself and, uh, and get ready to perform. Scott's been performing for nearly 28 years. Calling his fair share of games in that time. I've called over a quarter million, yeah, easily. Despite what some may think, the job of calling B-I-N-G-O isn't as simple as just reading what's on the ball. M35. Just take it from the expert. So you have to be ready and you have to be prepared. You have to have a good <laughs> attitude. Uh, the players uh, deserve it and they demand it. Uh, you have to be accurate. You, know, you have to make a minimum of mistakes, none which costs us money. Kashina has called some big winners over the years. I, I had a winner win a million dollars and I've had three winners win $500,000. It feels good. You know, there's, there's no question about it. You, you, you feel good. As those years go by, the excitement and passion he shows on the mic doesn't fade. N33. I still feel it. I still feel it. You know, it's, the, it's timing, timing, rhythm, rhythm. And uh, I still feel like I, I, I call a good game. Passion, the 71-year-old, hopes to continue to bring to the bingo halls at Potawatomi for years to come. My idol was Vin Scully. Vin Scully, the great Dodger broadcaster, he broadcast Dodger baseball until he was 88. G58. The calling of a lifetime. Maybe I'll call bingo until I'm 88. <laughs> Tradition that keeps on rolling. I think the appetite for bingo is always going to be here. Uh, young people, middle-aged people, old people, uh, families, friends, and they come and they can play this game together and spend quality time. And every once in a while, they win. And it really is a beautiful game.